According to Morrison Sky in Press Communication Studies, interpersonal communication refers to one-on-one -on -one or small group interactions. Research generally suggests this type of communication is influential in changing opinions, dealing with resistance and apathy to issues, and generally maintaining harmony in social situations. This quote is very vital to what I will be talking about because I will be discussing the individual challenge, challenges in group projects as well as group project challenges as a collective whole and how they relate to organizational challenges of an online class. As co cognitive science Glass and Holzuck have pointed out, if each experience were given a unique mental representation, we would be quickly overwhelmed. By encoding experiences into an organizational system of categories, we are able to recognize significant com commonalities in different experiences. This is very important for understanding individual challenges in group projects. It's first important to understand that the information, the individual information you possess affects a group as a whole. Individual information provides a two-way exchange of information. Individual participants can obtain clarification, explanation, and negotiation. They generally have a significant effect in persuading an individual or change a strongly held attitude, and this is this is in the sense as if you have a, cl a collaborative understanding in a group project. Individual information also, also in many situations, as in group projects, they can help you resolve conflicts and give you an ability to air your feelings and deal with mis misunderstandings or grudges. A very important way to help deal with these individual information process challenges in a group setting on in an online class is to focus on your own culture and biases and try to separate that from what your group is trying to accomplish. Williams 1980 stated that individuals interact in networks or groups with carried expectations, rules, norms, and ideas. These regulative practices are based on assumptions about the order of things, values, ethical beliefs, and attitudes towards the status of or authority. If you're willing to separate these norms, rules, and expectations in your group, you will be way better as a group member and an individual in that group project. There are also a few group project cha challenges that happen when you are doing a project. First is integration. That asks if it is easy for group members in the orga organization to operate in a coordinated, coordinated manner and if they are motivated to do so. There's also management contact, which asks if managers are accessible, supportive, and helpful. There's conflict tolerance, which is, at, which asks, is there a mechanism and a procedure that allows these employees to communicate their conflicts in, the, in a group setting? And there are communication patterns, which are communication challenge, challenges restricted to the formal hierarchy of command. So when you are assigning certain aspects of your group project to people, you need to be able to answer these questions. All of these four points were understood by Gerbsik Holsak 2001 practice dimensions. There are many or organizational challenges within a group setting for an online class, and it's vital to understand the difference between individualism and collectivism. Individualism is a manner in which individuals are integrated in groups. In individualist cultures, generally, they define their identity according to their personal and separate values. They tend to exhibit traits like wanting to voice their opinion and the pursuit of self-interest. On the other hand, collectivist cultures generally define identity according to group positioning and communication values. They tend to exhibit decision-making in groups, focus on pursuit of the public good, emotional commitment to group membership, and collaborative incentive. It is really important to understand and try to reach for collective collectivism instead of individualism in organ organizational challenges within a group setting. In order to be able to do this, you need to have team dynamics. And when you have team dynamics, you can understand that individuals bring different approaches to a problem within a team. And the improved understanding of this problem will give you a solution to your ultimate group project. And members are attracted to that because they, it gives them purpose. It gives the members values, needs, and interests, and it fulfills the interpersonal needs and satisfaction of all the group members. It is also important 
when avoiding co to avoid conflict in organizational in organi organizational challenges within a group setting by valuing the people, listening actively, making sure that everyone's tactful, giving credit to people when it's needed, being consistent, admitting the mistakes that you have made, and setting a good example for yourself and your group. I have covered today the individual challenges in a group project, project and how to focus on your own culture and biases and try to separate that from the common ground of the group. I have talked about group process challenges, which is to understand the integration, management, contact, conflict tolerance, and communication patterns within a group setting. I have also talked about organizational challenges and the need to understand individualism versus collectivism and try to come up with team dynamics, collaboration, and valuing people and listening actively and giving credit and staying tactful.